Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and today I have a very exciting thing to show you here and it shows you basically how to create your very own Google Hangouts or WhatsApp applications. Now these are made from web applications. So technically any web app that you know of that's out there that you would like to use, even something like iCloud for example, you can turn that into a Windows 10 application of sorts. Obviously certain things don't work properly since it is a web application and not a native application. So things like notifications don't show up in the action center. Uh, however, it's still very useful. So what I wanna show you there is, first of all, you will need to install Google Chrome. So if you don't have that installed already, you'll just go ahead to uh, you know, the web browser and install Google Chrome from there. Now once you have Google Chrome running, let me go ahead and show you. This is already a web app that I have set up, but uh, let, me, let me show you with something different. So let's try iCloud. So if I wanted to create an application, a Windows 10 application out of this, what I would wanna do is go into this menu up here and then go down to more tools. And we'll say add to taskbar. So we'll wanna make sure that this box is checked open as window. So what that does is it opens it as a separate window instead of in a Google Chrome tab. So then we can just say add. Now notice it doesn't actually show up in the taskbar. However, if we go to the start menu, you can see there is now an iCloud web app. So what I can do from there is I can right click and then pin that to start. Now what's interesting about that now is that when I minimize Chrome and I go ahead and launch iCloud, you will see that it doesn't launch in what looks like a Chrome window. It actually looks like a Windows 10 application. So what does happen when you install that is that some things do work uh, a little bit more like they would with a Windows 10 app. So obviously you don't have the address bar, so this stays a little bit more uh, attractive looking. If you go ahead and switch into tablet mode, you can see how that resizes appropriately, so that looks nice. So it's just a little bit nicer than actually using it in a web browser. Now what I've got running on this other desktop here is uh, a few different things. So I have this WhatsApp web application open and then a Google Hangouts window open as well. So that is pretty nice. Now the video that I'm going to have for you on Monday is going to show you how to create these applications so that they start up automatically. So if you want to always have these chat windows open as an example, uh, you can set it up so that your Windows 10 machine will boot these applications up every time you start up your machine. So that way they are always running in the background and you're always able to receive messages. So look forward to that. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure to do that so that you can see that video. Thanks for watching, guys.